stinks. I just started uploading the last, the last part, and it says there's two hours remaining, and it's a 20 minute video, but that's not what's dumb about that. Let me tell you what is. So, what's dumb about that is the fact that I was, was uploading the second part, the, uh, actual part one of this and that only took about a half that only took like 40 minutes okay uploading something similar in length is taking two hours now and I just updated YouTube as well Some people off Pharaoh's wind. I'm gonna need Lana Pharaoh's wind because uh, we'll be seeing her soon. And that'll be nice, just handy to have in general. Might as well get some other people off Pharaoh's wind. One. Slightly speed the process they can keep time. Maybe thinking slightly isn't a big deal, but moderately is, and greatly is even greater. Unfortunately, I will have to get one from Midna. Don't worry, you'll be hearing me talk about much higher graces about Midna later. But it won't be this Midna. My opinion on Agatha will not change through, at all throughout this, though. And Yandor just needs an old rag to help motivate him. You guys go to the training dojo and spend rupees to upgrade people like uh, 501. I think to go to level 7. I guess he's almost there, so I could just... There he is. Level 7. Like, for example. And now he's level 7. Or do the same to Sheik. It'd only take me 818 rupees. Because he was also not far from level 7. So, Link is, uh, has... Th they want you to use the magic rod. And you know what? Fine. I'm probably never going to use... Never going to get an opportunity to use the magic rod because of how much I hate it. So, enjoy this while you can. While well, I let you, anyways. It's freezing here in Oklahoma. Oh my goodness. This is why, if you ever hear me talk about how stinky Oklahoma is, I mainly mean in the winter time when it's cold as nuts. Yeah, Mr. that. Look at this. Anthony Manor, because we have all three heroes from earlier at our disposal now. I am. You can use magic. Where did you learn that? Your craft. Oh, well, I'm a sorceress. You know, the ones who started this horse here, we came from the same magical clan. Ah, oh, well, that explains it. And what does this Sia want from Hyrule? Do you really want to know? Yes, we do. Well, help me defend the forest. And uh, if you do, I might tell you. Lana just oozes Japanese from her, you can tell. And 
At this point in the game, the magic rod is the only fire attribute weapon you have at your disposal. And no, it's not very good. Uh, they, they did this so intentionally to get you to try out the magic wand by making it the only uh, fire type weapon you have. So when you want to use a weapon of the recommended attribute, you, they force you, you to use this. Why is this plant being poisoned into the surrounding area? It's a Deku Bob, unless you hit it with a sharp range attack, will die of poisoning. I think it's better to lend a hand. This is your basic combo string. It's just you shoot some beams out of it, do a spin attack with it, and then you maybe you like shoot a laser from it. And then you shoot like a laser from it by making it into like a by turning it into a can of reef. Like you you, you, you do, don't you usually have a bow? Did you forget to bring one this time? Linky Dink. Looks like there's a bow somewhere located south of the village. Possibly could have come into the south entrance. Okay. Now your standard attack string is this fire get your uh, heavy we weak and heavy light and heavy attack combo is like this stream of fire geysers. Your next one is to make like a blazer axe, and then the third is to like turn your into a flamethrower, which is by no means its best attack, but it's probably my favorite. Okay, uh, I'll look at that. Oh, well, it did nothing for us. Wow. And, oh, oh crap, okay, yeah. You get a hit if you, yeah, there's, you, there's not really much you can do other than poison. Okay, we can't go there. You should have forced Hylian Captain to flee. He sounded like he stubbed his toe. We still haven't found this bow just yet. They didn't want to use voice acting for this game because they uh, wanted to keep true in typical Zelda fashion. Just have characters go like, oh, I remember the boat probably by the big tree in the southwest of the village. They wanted to stay true to, by, uh, actually, yeah, now would be a good time to play someone else. Let's, let's play Sheik again. Actually, no, no, let's keep playing this Link. Yeah, I'm not using the magic rod, and I'm never going to use it again after this, unless we get, like, an upgraded form of it, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They didn't want to use voice acting because they wanted to keep true to the Zelda fashion where characters are like, oh, or, oh, uh, accompanied by a text box. You know, it just makes like some no annoying noise in their mouth accompanied by a text box. Yeah, well, how am I supposed to? Can I not? Oh, well, the area they want me to go to is guarded by that thing. Oh, oh, we want me to, I have to go like further around here, okay. Sorry, it's been a little over a year since I played through this level. Yeah, arrows. You got the bone arrows, use them to hit far away enemies and you can target it and attack strong enemies. You can use left right the D pad to switch between your items. Right now, I have a bomb, arrow, and potion. Potions you get from the uh, badges. Bomb one. It was not very strong. They will not kill those uh, weak, most weak enemies. And arrows will not. <laughs> arrows will not take out most weak enemies in one hit. And uh, the best they will do to larger enemies is stun them. For a brief period of time. For like a two, two or three seconds. I'm just thinking back to the time I wrote that big crossover story and then I wrote a sequel where uh, 
we we used the plot to where we uh, where Bill and Ted give us the plot device, a literal device called the plot device that tells us where to go. Sorry, but I I was I'm actually I I used to not be a terrible writer until I just got lazy. Oh, okay. Southern Tree and Western Tree are both open. Actually, you know, I've been playing as Sheik long enough. But send Sheik there, I guess, and I switch to Impa. Everyone's getting tired. We should retreat to the deck tree for a moment. The West checkpoint is open. Okay, now I'm going to command Sheik over to, uh, no, that's the enemy base. We can't get there yet. And I'm going to send him over to the western tree. Well, I have Impa face off against these uh, Gibdos. Oh. Gibdos are a common enemies in Zelda. Uh, and the games normally, if they look, and the games normally, if a Gibdo looks at you, uh, I believe they're weak to bows. And if a Gibdo looks at you in the games and you're stunned, and then they're gonna jump on, and then they're gonna walk, slowly walk towards you, and then, like start messing with your face, and it's all weird. But here, uh, you get caught in like that whirlwind attack, and all there you go, hit him with the bow right at, the, at them when the reticle showed up. So there you go. But here it's just that they they make like this whirlwind around them with like a powerful yawn. My yawns did that. Tried, there'd be there'd be torn, Oklahoma would have three times as many tornadoes as it does now, just based on my yawning alone. Running, hiding in big tree. Is this everybody? I bet it'll come in handy. I didn't even face the right enemy when I did the attack. Alright, that's like a character specific chest, you kind of just open it. Oh, this is the Ocarina. This Ocarina specifically is based off the Fairy Ocarina, which uh, is the Ocarina of Saria gives you an Ocarina of Time. Which you use until you throw it away disrespect in the most disrespectful way possible for uh, in favor of the Ocarina and in favor of the Ocarina of Time. So how it works is the same way it works in Majora's Mask. Uh, there's these statues. Uh, these owl statues, and when you activate them, you can uh, you play the Song of Storms to warp toward to warp towards the statue. It's very simple. Where am I now? Okay, I'm gonna command Impa down here to deal with these Gibdos. In the meantime, I'm going to take control of Link again. And I'm gonna command Link. I'm gonna command Link over to these Gibdos. So I've, now I'm gonna switch to Sheik and. Try and take this keep. <laughs> Gotta earn my keep somehow. I apologize for how terrible that pun was, and if uh, you gladly want to stop watching this video, I do not blame you for a single second. Oh, there you go, see? Example of how good Sheik is. Well, one thing I think is, this game is awesome, the one thing I think is missing from it is there should be a mode. Or like a split screen mode where yeah, there's already a split screen mode in the game. That's just a co-op. I want like a player versus player kind of co-op mode where you can uh, where it's like your army versus like your your friend's army or whatever. You're the second player's army. You know, wouldn't that be awesome? Knowing my target audience and you played this game, so you know how awesome that idea would be. I'm gonna for, so I'm in the meantime I'm just gonna forget I even mentioned it. Here's the special for the magic rod. It's uh, 
Actually, pretty cool, yeah. Weak point gauge break for the magic rod there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm gonna go find a gold sculpture now. You only have a limited time to find it, too, so. The, if you become like Mel Brooks in high anxiety, I do not blame you. My audience does not know what that movie is, so I'm gonna forget, uh. I even said. It's no secret that I don't like Iggy Pop, but actually, it was because I never mentioned it to anybody until now. Okay, it's right here. I guess we got an illustration piece. Lana's in danger. Immediate aid is, requir is requested. Uh, Sheik, go to... Crap, where is Lana? Oh, I just sent Sheik to some random place on the map, and that's not a good thing. Uh, oh, Lana's... Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, uh... I guess I'll switch to imp. Switching to imp will be the best course of action, then. should be in like the same area of the map as me. I don't see her though. No. Let me play as Impa. Oh. Impa's at level 8. It says Lana is in, Lana's in the same. Oh, it looks like she's moved down a bit. Oh, Impa's here now. Crap, get Sheik down there fast, then. Well, they're already here. Shoot. I have 35 enemies to that. Our prayers got through. Thank you so much. You are humbly welcome. I'll give those attack and decoratory crap. Oh, we've suffered a loss of morale. That's okay. I just helped. Oh, nope. There's still this guy. Got it. I guess I'll show you the focus spear attack for the uh, magic rod. If I uh, get the chance. Overall, we're not doing too bad right now. Magic rod is not as bad as I remember it being. Or at least that should give us some time to catch our breath. Successful easels, my next plan will burn your spirit to ashes. Well, you set the deck, you set the mustache tree on fire. It's the deco tree, but I call it the mustache tree because, and the, come on, it just looks like it has a freaking mustache. How can you not call it the mustache tree? Or maybe, maybe, okay, maybe you don't have to call it the mustache tree if you call it the Tom Selleck tree instead. If the deco tree's on fire, we have to go. go Quench the flames. Because I thought I said gaunch the flames. I'm thinking, okay, gaunch is not a word. Okay, well, that's done. You know, the deck would you burn. What are we supposed to do? What are you looking at me for? I, mean, I can feel the presence of the great fairy. Maybe she can help us. Excuse me, I just burped. Find the great fairy. Well. Oh crap, oh, get away. Yes, this is beautiful. Exterminate them. 
There's this lava tiles around the uh Okay. Looks like multiple keeps have opened up. Where's Sheik? Well I'm gonna say I'm gonna send Sheik after to that northern one. I'm gonna have Impa protect Lana. Uh, heavy attack, I forgot to mention heavy attack for these is a uh, this. I'm sitting at a small little pillar frame. Search northeast well. This is why I brought Sheik over here. Uh, okay, never mind then, uh and but stop what you're doing and protect stop the good dose. Actually the Impa, I believe Impa is the only character we found a piece of heart for yet right now. And a heart container for. Yeah, that's what the electric uh, song does. It makes like a whirlwind of electricity around you. And the water one is very good at that. Uh, makes a barrier of water around you. And yeah, that's kind of underwhelming. Sheik's like this awesome ninja, and that's best she can do with the uh, she can do water thing. Okay. Oh crap! There we go. Hit him with the bow and arrow at the just right time, and now weak points exposed. Got him. Get to the fairy fountain. Oh, of course. I had to wait for us to take out the other keeps first before telling us to go to the fairy fountain. Okay, where's Link? Okay. I'm gonna command Link over to this outpost. We can recapture that because I just. I get I get autistic whenever an outpost gets uh, taken. Whenever an outpost gets taken, I'm gonna send the imp after that Gibdo. Oh yeah, and there's an outpost captain right here. Get him too. Be 2,000 enemies. I can't believe you did all that by yourself. That's amazing. I was expecting a compliment. Every again, every 500 enemies, uh, you'll get a compliment from uh, an ally about how good you are. Same thing with Fire Emblem Warriors, which maybe if uh, I ever do spend all hundreds of hours you can spend on this game and upload them all to YouTube by some miracle, and it doesn't take me several years to finally do it, I might consider doing Fire Emblem Warriors, but nobody's going to be interested. No, not, but literally no one will have asked for that, so, uh, it will be just a me thing. I wanted to do a new playthrough of this game, and I figured why not just record it. Noble Grape here, we need your strength. Please send it to us. Okay. Oh, I remember what the Great Fairy does here. Once again... Reserve your, comment, or reserve your comments about the sexiness. Because personally, I think the Great Fairy is too, uh, too, uh, Ganguro for my, uh, to be attractive, personally. Ganguro is like a Japanese fashion trend about, like, looking like a ghost or something like that. I'm thinking of some, oh, I'm thinking of something. No, I think I think I'm thinking of something else. She does. Never mind. Why am I so cold? Because I'm right next to the I'm right next to the window, and the wind's blowing through. That's probably it. I'm actually next to the vent where the heat's supposed to be coming out. The heat from the heat is supposed to be coming out. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, sweet. And now our guys are blooming our morale is up. 
Oh, and the looks like the Gibdos are gone. Yeah, who let them talk to the Great Fairy? The plan was perfect. Clearly, it wasn't. Oh crap! I'm playing as the wrong character. Well, to quote uh, this guy who was uh, this murderer who I saw a thing about from Forensic Files on, well, the perfect crime isn't perfect because if there's because there's still suspicion that I did it. Defeat Wizro. I, I'm just going to say this. The name Wizro stinks. Again, I, I, I like the I like Impa's giant knife. Uh, giant knife, but the giant knife takes uh, the giant knife is too a little too slow for my tastes. Sometimes keeps up bomb flowers, and then bomb flowers are an I think from Ocarina of Time. They're they're plants that are, function just like bombs. When you pluck them, their fuse goes off. And in this game, though, if uh, you hit a bomb flower, they explode. It's as simple as that. Guard troop. Guard troops will usually uh, work to uh, protect it's their keeps. They're in, as the name implies. Oh, I'm not even in the right keep. I'm in the, some other one. I guess I'll still go in. Take this though. We're nearing thirty minutes. What is this? I swear this is another heart container for Impa. I'm gonna Oh it's a piece of heart. I had it then. What if I had it? Okay. Oh, the wizard got away. Oh, I, I didn't really get to read what he said. Mm, too fast. Now, go oh, another boss. Goma. This is Goma, a second Ocarina of Time boss we've seen. Goma in the game uh, jumped on the ceiling and uh, sent her spawn. Jumped on the ceiling while her. Oh, while her a little spawn try to come, while her spawn try to come and kill you. And after you killed them all, she jumped down from the ceiling. You hit her eye with a slingshot, and then uh, then you hit her eye with the. That, that's when you hit you uh, hit her eye with a slingshot. Impa's terrible at taking out weak point gauges. Link, I better send Link over here. And then uh, you hit him. Uh, go, then after you hit Goma, you have a slingshot. You're free to attack her with your sword. And some similar here. She uh, this time though, uh, she shoots laser beams from her eye, and uh, then she's left vulnerable after. Uh, after she shoots. Oh! Keep saboteur. These guys are annoying. Keep saboteurs will uh, go into a keep and have uh, the current uh, health the keep the keep has.
and after that they'll just leave. So you, they are they are pretty annoying. And there's another type of troop like that called raid captains who uh well r r what raid captains do is uh they go into the nearest keep and try and take it. Let's keep Saboteur still here. Okay. i never seen this before, by the way. So that's the Focus Spear for the Rod. It's pretty cool. But it does have another weapon, which we will unlock shortly. Don't you worry about that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Goma freaked me out as a kid. And HD Goma still freaks me out. Oh my good. Oh, oh, why did I say that? Now I'm freaked out. By, oh, now some cream creeped out by this. Captain, without even trying. That's just how good I am. Defeat all keep step towards. Okay, good. Sheik did it. I didn't even have to switch to Sheik. Sheik just did it on his or her own. Yeah, not sure if I should refer to Sheik as a man or a female. All I have to do is take care of that monster. Oh, okay, I did, and we got a silver material from it, which is good. I believe Goma, Goma drops, I think, her acid as a silver material. And then drops her uh, eye as like a gold material. Which I remember when it's a solid win for us. Oh my goodness, I am cold! I hoped Zelda would be here. Apparently that was in vain. It has one breastplate over, uh, breastplate over one breast, but not the other. Okay. Where could she be? Is she safe? The goddess protector. Lana is a character created just for this game, like specifically for it. Oh, an exposition. As it should be. That is until a unique sort of cough protection. Cough link, obviously. Oh, uh, well, uh, well, it's not a secret. It's a short picture there.
Whispering Darkness looks a lot like Ganon's uh, true form. And if you couldn't tell, it's implied that the sorceress, it's implied, not mentioned, that the sorceress is Sia, the lady that Lana said is behind all this. And Sia is that really hot character I told you is one of the best characters in the game. And it is if you watched like several episodes ago, I don't even remember which one I said that in. So it says it's a series, no, it's a, it's, I say it like it's a show, no, part, not episode. Goma's Acid, yep. And then, uh, 21 Gibdo Bandages, it's actually really good. And 31 Metal Plates, that's also pretty good. And now I'm gonna go check, and now I'm gonna go find out the upload status of the previous part and find out that it's only, like, 2% done uploading. A good few illustration pieces, the bizarre is leveled up, next up 12 pieces, posts that become more effective, more mixture available in the apothecary. The smithy is now open for business. Please don't make me explain something here in the last minute. Okay, good. Well, okay, we'll explain the smithy later. And now you see this side mission here. We'll we'll get to that later. Uh, half. We'll get to that later. Don't you worry. Uh, next time we're going to be doing uh, this mission with this blonde lady. Uh, not next time. Next time we're going to be going adventure mode. After that, I think. Uh, I know, we we'll either do this mission or this one. Anyways, I'll uh, see ya soon. Get pun.